Reality is merely an illusion, albeit a very persistent one. It's not an illusion that I quoted Albert Einstein two updates in a row. However, I needed the quote because it perfectly describes the current view of our economy. The reports out of Washington say we have a strong jobs market and nearly everyone has a job. It's an illusion, or is it a sleight of hand? Magicians use this technique to make us think we see what isn't there, and the economy is the same thing. It's normal for Washington, especially during an election year. The catch-22 is that the economy is negatively impacted by the high interest rates, and that's by design, so inflation will get back to the desired 2% a year. Inflation is also hurting the average person, and they go hand in hand. And the Fed could lower rates to make things better for consumers, but that may cause inflation to go up. And the illusion is about the jobs numbers. If you have a job, even part-time, you're employed, so that's good, according to the illusionists. What about job creation? That's strong, right? Well, not really. Most new jobs are being filled by those that are, shall we say, not able to legally work, and most of the other job creation is government jobs. If you want to create the illusion of a strong job creation, just hire more people in the government. And voila, you haven't really helped the economy, but the illusion still fools most of the people some of the time. And this monthly report is about real estate. However, the overall economy affects real estate. If based on the economy, how it is, not how it looks, is now a good time to buy a house? Let's take a look. According to Matt Vernon, head of consumer lending at Bank of America, our research continues to show that the vast majority of prospective buyers overwhelmingly feel buying a home now or in the future is the best decision for them in the long run. And here are some of the reasons for that. 94% want a sense of privacy and security. 91% want a good place for their family. 90% want to have a good place to raise a family. And what else could you buy? Real estate is always, or almost always, the best investment. And while many buyers have decided to wait, now is a better time to buy than later. Buyers are waiting because prices are going up and rates have already gone up so high that the payments are not within reach for most people in California. Most people think that because there are less buyers, property values should drop. In previous market updates, I showed how our low inventory has not allowed that to happen. We have less homes than people who need to or want to buy. Add to the issue that nearly one third of homes on the market now are new construction. And these homes tend to cost more than the average home. And this doesn't help first time home buyers. We discussed a little about interest being high. And the Fed said last week that they may only drop them one time this year and I figured we wouldn't see anything until around or after the election in November. That means rates will be high for a while. But if you buy now, when they come down, you can refinance and drop your monthly mortgage payment. If you wait, there'll be more buyers who waited just like you. And that means home values will continue to rise, not fall like some predict. Everyone is different and their families have unique needs. So decide based on your needs and wants. My advice is to see what you can do now to buy. If you wait, home prices will be higher. And on that more likely than not note, that's it for our show. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on All the Right Moves with Jeff Moss.